Hey everyone, thank you for watching. Today's video I'm excited to do, it's going to be a new Will I Buy It? This is my series that I post every single Wednesday where I chat with you over all of the new makeup releases. I talk about what I'm interested in and not so interested in. I do link my playlist down below as well as the community playlist that I started and let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, welcome. Welcome to a new week. Uh, I did just get out of the shower and blow dried my hair, so there's like an interesting situation happening, but it's fine, it's all good. And my Vegas OOTD, well, today's, today's a Monday. Today's a Monday. I don't know if you can tell today's a Monday, but um, I just have my pajama shorts still on and then actually this little Colorado crop top that uh, I, I actually wore this to my going away party in Iowa. Yes, I wore this too. We just had like a little dinner and went out for some drinks with a few of my friends in Iowa the weekend before I started to make the drive out to Vegas. And then I remember when I was sharing on um, on socials and I didn't share where I was going right away and quite a few people guessed I was going to Colorado because they said I had just recently posted photos with my friends. So they put together it was a going away and I had a Colorado shirt on. I was like, I can't get nothing past you guys. I really can't get anything past you. <laughs> My DMs these days are really quite funny. <laughs> I'm filming this Monday, kind of later on Monday. It's just, it's been such a busy, it's just been, it's just been busy. I've been saying that I have something coming up this week, which I'm very excited for. So just trying to get ready for that and keep everything Keep, just keep my sanity all together, but it's getting pretty late. So the sun is going down. So let's just jump into it I do always link my makeup down below. I didn't do any filming today. It's such basic makeup, but um, I will link everything that I used down below uh, And let me scoot over a little bit so I can add in some photos where to start. I really haven't been looking on oh, Social media all that much this weekend. So I'm like what's even going on? Oh, you know, I did get a lot of tags Yes, let's let's start off with ColourPop. I feel like for a while, I used to include ColourPop first in all of my videos because so many people would seem so excited about them. Um, but then, I don't know, like I said, I've been kind of feeling just, it's been a little little bit too much with ColourPop recently. I've kind of been putting them in the middle of the videos, but I know a lot of people were really excited about the new collaboration with the Powerpuff Girls. I know the biggest question on everybody's mind right now is does Samantha know what the Powerpuff Girls are? Because you might know if you've been around for a while, TV, movies, I don't really know a whole lot. I don't really know a whole lot, but I do know the Powerpuff Girls and I did watch the Powerpuff Girls. I thought they were pretty cool. So when there was a like a sneak peek announcement that ColourPop was doing this collaboration, I mean, I was interested. I was interested to see what was going on. So in the collection, we have an, a 12 pan eyeshadow palette. We have two blushes, three color sticks, a roller gloss set of three. From Soul Body, there's a bubble bath bar. From 4th Ray Beauty, a lip mask duo, and then three hair clips will be available July 14th. So it'll be available today. Okay. Alrighty. What do I think of this? <laughs> um, I get the eyeshadow palette. Do I? Yeah, I do. I get the eyeshadow palette. I get where they I get where they were going with it. I don't know if when I first saw it that I was like, what's that? I need to get that. And I think it's just. I think it just goes back to it. There's just been so much from ColourPop recently. I, I don't know, it's just, I've been struggling to keep up. And I say that as a beauty influencer who does receive PR from ColourPop and I feel like I struggle to show everything and to try everything and review everything. Um, but I also say it as a consumer because I am a makeup consumer and if there's products coming out from ColourPop that I'm very interested in, I, I, I try not to rely on PR and I will buy the products myself. And it just, it just seems like a lot, that's all. So I think maybe I'm just not quite as excited because there's just been so much that I'm like, oh, it kind of looks like this palette or I could probably do the same looks in that palette. With it being the Powerpuff collaboration, that has my interest a little bit more, but I don't think enough to, to make me want to go out and purchase it. If I did receive it in PR, would you like to see some looks with it? You know, definitely let me know, but I don't know it didn't quite pull me as much as I was maybe hoping it would I like the little imprints in some of the shadows there I think that's cute the gold shade looks pretty I just don't know if I you know there's like those two greens and I do like greens but I just I just don't know I just didn't get super stoked for it the hair clips are cute 
I like that they have some other things in the collection um, versus kind of sometimes with collections with ColourPop, it's like all the same things, all the same, you know, types of products, just different shades or sometimes the same shades, quite honestly. But I don't know. What are we feeling? I might be, I might be in the minority on this one that isn't like super hyped for it, but obviously I would love to hear your thoughts. <laughs> are we feeling in, in a roasty mood? Cause maybe I should, maybe I should go to this one next. Okay. Um, <laughs> cause I've been getting. I've been getting a lot of tags and a lot of really funny DMs on this one. So this is new from Hourglass, the Curator Collection. Okay, so we have a customizable vegan eyeshadow collection, 40 shades, 4 finishes, designed to be used with the Curator Refillable Palettes. So we have matte, satin, metallic, and shimmer. So the eyeshadow refills are $29. There's a one pan curator is $31. A three pan custom palette is $99 and a five pan custom palette is $161. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next product. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. What in the Sam Hill? Sam Hill? Stan Hill? Sam Hill? What is that saying? Um, let's go with Sam because that's my name. What in the Sam Hill is going on with this one? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I've had people, even Aries doesn't know. Oh, you brought me a sock. Girlfriend, we don't wear socks unless we go to the gym. We don't know what's going on. You know, some I've been seeing like the tags and people are like, what is Hourglass thinking? And I'm like, I also want to know what they are thinking. Hourglass is, you know, a more high-end brand, but still that is like another level. That's an, that's That's a level, that's a level. And I don't feel like Hourglass has been um, received the most kindly recently and then so to come out with that i was like okay i mean like i kind of get it like the concept it's i mean it's single shadows that you can put into a palette and that's i mean that's not new so like i, I get it i just don't really get the pricing aries doesn't get it either. i know you don't get it either both of us are very confused about this um Honestly, I was like, let's enter the roasty portion and then I was gonna be really roasty, but honestly, like, what else can I say? I feel like that's, that's it. And no offense to anyone who does want to buy these and are planning on it, like, cool. Everybody gets to do what they wanna do with their money and we all spend it in different ways, like, that's fine. But still, yeah. I don't understand this one. Uh, it's gonna be a pass for me. <laughs> this was kind of an interesting collaboration going on. This is from Benefit and this is a collab with Crocs. So we have two pink tastic styles, the classic claw or the classic sandal, both bedazzled with beautiful, beautiful gibbets charms. I don't know what that is. I'm not hipping with the times. Obviously we all know this will be available July 13th at 9am. So, okay, wait, hold on. Is it just the Crocs that are available? Okay. I was thinking maybe it was like Crocs, like plus like a product, but I think it's like just the Crocs. Okay. No, I've actually never owned Crocs. Uh, I like the sandal more than I do like the clog, but I don't think it's really for me. I, I don't think it's something that I'm like missing in my collection right now, but I feel like you either really love Crocs or you really hate Crocs. Like... Like I know a lot of people that really love them and then I know a lot of people that are like so against them. And I, but I'm someone that I'm like, I just don't really care that much. I don't, I guess I'm not a big shoe person personally, honestly, just not a huge, huge shoe person. Like I wear the same three pairs of shoes pretty much everywhere that I go. And one of those is a pair of flip flops. So um, yeah, it's gonna be a pass for me, but that's interesting. That's interesting. Uh, I see a new Sephora favorite set is coming out. I really enjoy when these come out. I pretty much always give them a double take. This one looks really good though. This is a new Sephora set, fresh face, refresh makeup set. It's kind of a mouthful. $45 includes the Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer, the Patrick Ta Major Brow sh sh Shaping Wax with the spoolie. Those are both full size. The Anastasia Lash Brag Mascara, Benefit Roller Liquid Liner, a full size. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray, the Iconic London Sheer Bronze Liquid Bronzer, the Tarte Sea Breezy Cream Blush, and the Ilia Balmy Gloss Tinted Lip Balm in Tahiti. 
that doesn't sound bad at all like honestly when I looked at this then I gave it like a second look because I was like I would like to try some of the things but I don't need all of them but like the illuminating primer I would try I would try that shaping wax I've been I'm not great with brows, okay? But ColourPop sent one over recently, and I don't know if I just don't know what I'm doing or if I just don't know if the wax is a bad product. Like, I want to review it, but I feel like I need to try another brow wax before I review it because I'm just not sure if it's me or if it's the product. <laughs> but I feel like nothing happens. Like, I run this blue, and I feel like, I just, I feel like nothing happens. So I kind of want to try another one, and I've thought about the one from Patrick Ta. I've tried the Anastasia Mascara. It's a good one. Like, I would have it back in my collection. The liquid liner, I probably wouldn't really use. The Charlotte Tilbury, I do have. The Iconic London, I have. The Ilia um, Gloss Bomb, I do have it, but not in that shade. But the Tarte Blush, I do want to try. But it's like, I probably don't need to buy it just because I really want to try the Tarte Blush. Like, I can probably just buy the Tarte Blush anyways. You know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's going to be a good, um, a good pick for me, a good purchase for me, but... I think it looks like a really good set actually. This was really funny because as I was sitting here, <laughs> a tag came through on this post <laughs> on the Trend Mood page and it made me laugh because she said, you know, March Beauty Word, what do you think about this? And my response was, I'm filming this right now. Um, this is from Melt Cosmetics. This is their new glow for face and body. That's not funny. The, the name is what's funny to me. These are the Melt Sex Foils. What? What is a sex foil? <laughs> what? <do> we, what? <laughs> because when I hear the words... <laughs> I'm getting demonetized for sure. When I hear the words sex foil, I think of a condom. <laughs> like, I don't know that's what popped into my head. <laughs> what pops into your head? I don't understand. I don't, I don't understand what, what this means. <laughs> um, coming soon to the website and retailers, there's going to be seven different shades. Okay. Um, I just don't know where the word sex is coming. I just, I'm not sure where that's coming from. <laughs> I'm not sure what that has to do with anything. Um, but this is a new product from Melt Cosmetics. So I have been more interested into in these types of products recently, but I did pick up the uh, one from Patrick Ta. It's like a spray highlighter. And then I also did the Fenty Body Sauce, which I'm not gonna lie, I tried it out for the first time the other day and the color was like way weird on me. I actually wiped it off and put the body blur on. I was like, okay. So I need to try it again when I'm not getting ready to leave to go somewhere in public because it just like my legs looked super weird. So I was like, uh, hmm. So I'm going to need to keep trying that one out a little bit more. Um, and see, see, see what I think. So I don't think that I would need this right now. Um, but it did make me chuckle. It did make me chuckle a little bit, but I think it's, it's going to be a pass for me. Uh, we have a new new additions to the Climax line by NARS. So we have an eyeshadow palette in nine shades. Also a liquid eyeliner in black coming soon to the website and retailers. I feel like NARS kind of, like their palettes, it just kind of feels like the same after the same after the same. I don't really get super excited for them. There's some of the um, some of this like shimmeriness does look really pretty, but not to where I think that I'd need it. Liquid liner, I like barely wear eyeliner these days. I like barely wear makeup these days. I'm just trying to live my best life <laughs> like, quite honestly um but yeah i just i do very minimal makeup these days if it's not noticeable as you look at my face i don't think i would need either of those they just kind of been a little lackluster for me recently um from bessemme cosmetics we have the next princess from the princess collection which is going to be mulan so it's probably like last month or so that i talked about uh disney is going to be doing um, Best May is going to be doing this collaboration with Disney and the princesses and we have the full calendar of when each one is being released but each uh, collection includes oh wait hold on the ultimate princess celebration includes a series of 12 pieces each set includes a refillable metal enameled compact and matching lipstick these are $125 but there's only 500 units for each set limited to one per customer Mulan is going to be available July 13th okay so very pretty the compact very pretty like everything packaging wise the art all of that is very pretty i just 
I don't think I would need it for $125. It's pretty expensive. I'm guessing if you're a collector, if you love Disney or these certain princesses so much, maybe it'll be a little bit more your thing, but it's not gonna be for me. See another cream blush that's coming out. This is from Morphe. This is the cream blusher. Let's see, for fresh face and delicately flushed looks, uh, it's gonna come in five shades. Okay. Um, I don't think I need it. I Morphe isn't my favorite brand, and I definitely have a lot of cream and liquid blushes right now, but you know, very on trend. Not surprised to see that. I do also see a new lipstick coming out with Too Faced. This is the Too Faced Gives Back with Belinda Carlisle. She'll be donating her fee to the nonprofit organization Animal People Alliance. Will be available on July 12th. That she is donating to the nonprofit. I think that's really great. I don't think that I would absolutely need this lipstick myself but you know that's a good thing wanted to make sure to to share that pass that along if you would be interested uh let's see from lime crime we have new additions to the wet cherry line the wet cherry sweet mats eyeshadow palette and the wet cherry wild metallics eyeshadow palette both are 28 dollars for five shades um i kind of like that pink and purple one a little bit like all those mats in there that looks fun but probably not something that I need right now. I'm definitely going for my single shadows quite a bit or I'm really loving the Sigma Ambiance palette, the Patrick Ta Major Dimension palette. If you missed it, yesterday's video is a brand new beauty battle where I take two or three products that I really enjoy and I put them head to head in this beauty battle and I tell you which one you think you should buy and I did do Sigma and Patrick Ta. So if you missed it, I will link that video in the cards, but it was a fun one to film. A collaboration that is coming out and this is a round two with Hip Dot and My Chemical Romance. So I believe when they did their first collaboration, it sold out like really, really quickly. Um, so now we have the second one, the Danger Days collection. So we have an eyeshadow palette, a liner duo, a white, prim white primer pot, uh, a lip kit with metallic lip glosses, and there's also the vault, which will be $98, will be available July 22nd. Okay, I like the Hip Dot brand really intrigues me because I feel like they do some really different and kind of more unique collaborations, which I find interesting. Um, nothing from this really screams like my personal taste, my personal makeup style, so it would be a pass for me, but I don't know. I like seeing the different things because, you know, everybody, like not everybody has my own makeup preferences. Hello. So it's fun to see like all the different things that come out. So that one's not going to be for me, but interesting to see. Uh, I see a few new products that are available now at Ulta Beauty, including the First Aid Beauty Anti-Dandruff Shampoo. This is $30 to fight dandruff, soothes scalp irritation, and leaves hair smooth. Um, this is going to be $32. Honestly, I'm kind of interested in it. I really like First Aid Beauty. I'm kind of interested in it because once I got extensions, I definitely started to have a lot more dry scalp. I dry scalp is something that I never dealt with but I oh not always but for a long time there I took really good care of my scalp I would do like the regular um just like head massages just with my own hands like the regular head massages I had like a little you know the thing that kind of looks like a kitchen utensil what's it look like a whisk but but it's not fully closed <laughs> Uh, sex foils we're not fully clothed I don't know it's not fully closed and you would like massage your head I literally had like three of those I left them all behind and I'm very sad I probably should have brought at least one with me and then I got even like a scalp massager for the shower so I took really good care of my scalp but with extensions it's harder to do because my my hair starts like here my wefts start like up here so it's really hard and I try in the shower to be on top of my scalp but it's just harder and I've been noticing uh, dry scalp because of it. So I wonder if it would, you know, kind of help that. I'm not sure, but I would be interested in trying because I'm like, ah, what's going on here? It's, you know, it makes me a little bit self-conscious, but it is what it is. I still love my hair. Love my hair. Um, I mean, we didn't do it today, but it's fine. It's fine. Uh, from Smashbox Cosmetics, we have the Halo Plumping Dew plus Hyaluronic Acid for $39. So it's a 24-hour plumping moisturizer. Um, Okay, a plumping moisturizer. I probably don't need it right now. I'm pretty set on my moisturizers. And hyaluronic acid, you know, I started using a new one and I got a ton, 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 ton of breakouts. And I just, I wasn't sure if it was that. You know, sometimes I'm like not exactly sure what it is that's causing it, but I put the hyaluronic acid on pause just in case it was that. The only one that didn't give me any sort of reaction was the one from pharmacy. And I think I just need to buy a new one of that because I really liked how my skin was looking. So that one's gonna be a pass. And then from Kopari, we have the Coconut Spritz Mist with niacinamide, squalene, and vitamin B5, and this is $28.
So this is a facial spray. I mean, I like niacinamide, I like squalene, vitamin B5. Um, it does have a coconut milk scent. I, just, I don't know if it's something that I like absolutely have to have. It's like something that's missing in my collection. So I could probably skip over that one too. Uh, let's see. I see some new brushes coming from Sonia G and Beautylish. The Lotus set includes six brushes. One brush is unchanged except for the handle. Okay. The Worker 2 from the current permanent collection and then three new brushes. The Base, the Detail, and the Soft Definer. Two bestsellers from the permanent collection but redesigned to fit this set. The Cheek and the Builder. I hope that made sense to some of you because I'm not going to lie. I'm not really following it. But I'm also not super familiar with the brush line, so I'm sure some of you get it. Uh, it is going to be $215, limited edition, available July 14th. I, like, want to so badly. Like, one day I'm going to do it. One day I'm going to purchase a Sonia G brush set, and then I'm going to eat ramen noodles for the rest of the week. Um, or the month, and it's going to be fine. But it's just, I, and you guys know, I love makeup brushes. I love makeup brushes so much. And I got a Sonia G brush in my last Beautylish Lucky Bag. And it's such a nice brush. It's so good. It's so soft. And it's, it's so nice. But uh, it's going to still be a pass for me for right now. One day, though. Mark my words, one day. Next up, I saw this on hotfire.makeup. And it is let me tell you that the urban decay vice lipstick is back with a new look and vegan formula i didn't know if i actually remembered to press record again on my camera <laughs> um, back with a new look and vegan formula and you can grab it now on the website all right so these are 19 dollars. i like the 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 packaging that's cute it's chic i like the purple okay um that was aries shaking it shaking her tail feather I, I guess is what she was doing getting in the vegas ways i see okay so i i really do like the urban decay vice lipsticks i think i've probably decluttered all of them out of my collection at this point i want to say i probably have especially with the move um because they were so much older um but i really did like them like do i do i have to go out and get them right now probably not but i don't know if i realized that they were being reformulated but that is some makeup news and then what else do we have to talk about? I'm still laughing about the sex foil. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. Um, okay, this is from Unique Beauty. If I'm saying that correctly, this is the new fashion magazine collection, the Africa collection. We are taking you on a trip to Africa from exploring ancient, ancient Egypt to the coast of West Africa to the east. All right, looks like we have blushes, highlighters, lip creams, eyeshadow palettes, also a bundle and a chief staff blush brush. Okay, so that is everything in this collection. I'm not familiar with the brand myself, so I'd love to hear from you if you have tried them out. I like the concept behind it, um, like the packaging and the artwork, everything looks so, so nice. Kind of reminds me just a little bit, maybe of Juvia's Place with just some of this um, like more bolder artwork, which is very, very pretty. Um, and some of the swatches on these palettes, I don't know, they, I, I, oh, they look really pretty. The lips are all pretty dark. Um, so I, I typically go for obviously something like quite a bit lighter, but um, yeah, I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. I don't know if there's anything that I absolutely need at the moment. Some of the blush colors are cool. Some of these more like mauve -er tones I think are really pretty. But I don't know if I would need anything right now, but that is a new collection. Um, did I say when it's coming? It's available now. Available now, so it'll be linked down below. Uh, let's see. What else? Oh, this is from Flower Beauty. This is kind of interesting. This is the new Jet Set Invisible Powder Spray, a revolutionary setting powder that instantly blurs away imperfections and sets your makeup for a silky smooth, a silky smooth finish. Just spray and go. All right, so this is going to be $14. It's available now. This is interesting to me because I feel like Flower Beauty really hasn't been, at least from what I've seen, hasn't really been putting out a lot of new stuff as of recently. So um, it's nice to see a new product. I'm kind of curious about it. A powder spray. It has rice starch, chamomile flower extract, and coconut fruit water. That gives you a soft matte look. I don't know. I'm kind of interested. I'm a little bit interested in that one. 
Uh, and then I think just some skincare to finish it off with. This is from Huda Beauty. So this is her Yo Glow Honey Flower Enzyme Scrub. So this is $21, a three-in-one exfoliating enzyme scrub to brighten an even skin tone. Uh, let's see. So I, so this, her enzyme scrub, just in like a different type of fragrance. So I really do like the original one. And then she came out with a detox one. I have that in the shower and I do like to use it for my body. Uh, so this just looks, so I probably wouldn't need this one because yeah, it just has a different scent to it, which I'm not a huge scent person um but i like it i like the original one again i like the detox one for my body but don't think that i would need to grab that one for myself um other than that i think that is going to be it for this week yeah that is everything so let me know your thoughts on all of these new makeup releases i definitely would love to know would love to hear your thoughts other than that if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up i hope you also consider subscribing before you go and i'll see you in my next video